for right now I'm just going to try to demonstrate to you so I'm picking eggs and putting them into what we call the injection dish so I have my eggs in the injection dish and I have to add sperm, sperm sample add a sperm sample which I'm going to, to inject into the eggs so this now I have my sperm I have my eggs so now I have to go and uh, do the injection Okay, so here is where I'm going to do my injection. As you can see, these are the sperm cells that I've added. Right. So I have to catch sperm one sperm at a time. So I have to catch one sperm at a time. So I have to catch one sperm at a time. Once I catch one sperm, all right. This one has a big head, so I have to look for one that's normal because not all of them are normal. So I'll take this one. All right, I'll take this one. So I have the sperm there. I have my egg in position. Then I have my sperm. So that's my sperm at the tip of the needle. I'm going to inject it into the egg. Once I do inject the sperm into the egg, Right, that was beautiful. So now, the egg that I've injected, I'll have to check it after 13 to 16 hours to see if the sperm has done its job. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for signs of fertilization. Once I achieve the signs of fertilization, I report that the egg that I injected fertilized, and after two to three days, I'm able to get an embryo that I'm going to transfer back into the lady. So I have my egg that I've injected there. So after I've injected, I now transfer my egg into culture. So I pick my egg. Transfer it into culture media where it's going to grow. So I take it into the incubator like I said maybe this acts like our uterus where the embryos will grow and after two to three days we check them to see if they are growing very well before we transfer them into the uterus so briskly that's it's briefly how it's done in this lab.